Coach Sala called Zach Wilson beefy. Wilson, Coach Sala beefy. Who's beefier? Sala's a monster. EA, you can't really take a lot from the on-field work during OTA. Still just shorts and t-shirts. But one thing's for sure, Zach Wilson, he put on some weight in the offseason. I've heard the term beefy more in the last two weeks in regards to Zach Wilson than probably my previous 21 years combined here at the Jets. But listen, Zach Wilson finished his rookie year weighing 208 pounds. He wanted to put on weight here in the offseason. He worked with team dietitian Nikki Mentz and he got his weight up to 221 pounds. Now a lot of people would think, well, that's going to take away from your speed or athleticism. Wilson says this is the best he feels in terms of being athletic and being fast. He looks strong out there. We know he can rifle the football, but he's come back to camp confident and he wants to play next season at 218. All right, so let's move up a level in terms of the offense. We're going from the quarterback to the offensive line, another second year player, Elijah Vera Tucker. Left guard last year, very good one. In comes Lake and Tomlinson. AVT said he was the one that was like, listen, I'll move to right guard. We have a pro bowler now at left guard. Well, he said he's excited when the Jets said, hey, will you move? And he said, well, who you got in place? Lincoln Tomlinson. Okay, no doubt about it. No problem. Remember, what did the Jets like about Elijah Vera Tucker when they moved up from 23 to 14 in the 2021 draft was his versatility. His final year at USC is actually playing at left tackle, but at USC he did play right guard in fact. So he's taken this switch in stride. He's pumped to be working with Lincoln Tomlinson. And remember, this is a duo that Joe Douglas said that they believe that they are one of the best, if not the best, guard combinations in the National Football League. So we'll be watching that Jets interior all season long. I feel like we'll be watching the Jets offensive line too. Really has the potential to be a very good unit in the NFL. And I feel like this time of year, right, the Jets are laying and all the other teams laying the groundwork for the regular season. But it feels like the Jets are up a level compared to where they were last year. Well, it was an interesting question posed to Robert Sala because Sala's talked about closing the gap inside the AFC East said here in late May, what do you think about this roster? He said, we're better. I know we're better. Uh, and the Jets, obviously a year older, still young, added a lot of interesting pieces in the offseason. You can see the athleticism on the field. We watched practice for the first time here this spring. I loved what I saw at the cornerback position with Ahmad Sauce Gardner and DJ Reed. Uh, you have a lot of speed on the offensive side of the ball as well. You got that second year quarterback in Zach Wilson. So, and the other thing the Jets have going for them is continuity. Continuity with the systems, continuity with the coaching staff as all coordinators have returned. Uh, I think it's gonna be really fun to see the evolution of this team throughout the spring and the summer leading up to the regular season. September 11th against the Baltimore Ravens. If you want more coverage, stay right here on NewYorkJets.com.